Hi. Hi, Silas. I'm hey. just going to show you how to do a Rubik's Cube. Hey. I've been trying to solve it and eventually I got it. Did ya? Yeah. What colour are you going to do? Green. How old are you? Eight, turning nine this year. Turning nine. Why do you like the Rubik's Cube? Uh, it's cool and tricky and hard stuff like that. And when it gets like that, mm -hmm. you fold it up and then put it on the other side and then try and it will work. You just look for the colours in the green. Yep. Then when you get green, you look at the pieces on the top bit. Yep. Have you got the top layer yet? No. So how do you do the top layer? Do you, do you take the green ones out again until they're in the right order? Yeah. And then you've done the top Have layer. Have you done the top layer? Yep. Show me all the way around. Good. Okay, now what do you do? You look for the middle. The middle? That matches with the top layer. Okay, okay, so the middle ones already line up. Yeah, the middle ones never move. Mm hmm. Then what do you do? You look for the red and white one. And all the orange and yellow. And what do you do after you found it? So is that one needs to go up there. Show me again. This piece. Yep. Needs to go up there. So how do you do that? You put it over there. Yeah. So the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And then you take this corner out and put it back in again. Yeah. Does that work? Yep. Show me. Oh, yeah. No, you've Orange. got. Yep. The red and white one, yep. which is over here. Mm -hmm. So you turn it back to where it was because it was in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Then you take this one out and put it back in mm -hmm. again. And then you need the red and yellow, which is over here. That's the red and yellow one? Yeah. Yep. So you put it over there, even though yellow looks it's like mm. it's the right. Mm. So you put it over there, and then mm. take this one out again. Mm -hmm. And then you've done the second layer. Whoa, that was quick. Second layer. Now and it must get very hard. You look at the bottom. Yep. It's an L shape there. Okay, now how do you know how to do that? Um, I've learnt a lot. Well, how do you know you got to get an L there? Um, these instructions. Okay, so Dad made you some instructions. Yeah. And there's an L shape there. Yeah, so you need the L shape in the same spot. Oh yeah, show me. Show me the L shape. Oh yeah, there's an L shape, there's an L shape. Now what, what are your next step? You do this, so yep. you go, this is front, yep. this is top. Okay. Front, right, and then you turn the top one. Mm -hmm. Then you go right, and then turn the top one back, and turn it down. And what do you got now? You've got a straight line, like this one, straight line. Yeah. So you go front, right, upper, and right, upper, front. Yeah. And the I means that you go anti-clockwise. Yeah. Okay. And this is the front, or it can be this one. Yep. I'm choosing this one. Yep. And then you, you do that again. Yep. Front, right, right upper, upper, right, upper, front. And what do you got now? You got a cross? Yeah. You have. You got at least a cross, which is what you're aiming for. Then what do you do? 
You look to see if they're in the right spot. What's in the right spot? These pieces. Yeah. And if some of them are wrong, like those two. Yeah. And two of them are right, and they're right next to each other. Yep. You make them look like that. So one's over there, and one's up there. Yeah. And then you go right. So this will be front. Yep. Right, upper right. Upper right. Upper, upper, right. Yep. And, and then they should all be in the right spot. All the ones on the very edges. Yep. Point to the ones that are right. That one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Yep. Then what do you do? You look for the corners that are in the right spot. Right, so you're going for this step now? Yep. So you're going to drive for the corners that are in the right spot. Yep, this one's in the right spot. Sorry, which one? This one. Yep. How do you know it's in the right spot? Because white can go there, blue can go there, and orange can go there. Yep, okay. And that's in the wrong spot. Yep. Because white can't go anywhere on there. Mm -hmm. Blue can go there, but red can't go anywhere. Okay. So which one's right? Uh, this one. Yep. So you put it in the bottom right corner. Oh, like the picture says, in the bottom yep. right corner. Yep. yep, okay. And then you do these instructions, so upper right... Upper, left, upper, right, right, upper, left. And then what happened? So I'm going to move it, like that one's still in the right spot. Yep. That one's in the right spot. Yep. That one's in the right spot. And that one's in the right spot. Okay. And then you do this one. The, bar, the, the last step. Yep. And this one's always down. What do you mean? So you turn it down like that. Okay. And like that. Okay. So right, down, right, down. Right, down, right, down. Right, down, right, down. Right, down, right, down. Now some people think this stuffs oh. it up. Yeah, but what do you do now? And then you turn that over mm -hmm. there. And you go right down, right down. Same thing. Then you turn it over again. Mm -hmm. And you do it again. Till that one gets in the right spot. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work. Oh no! <laughs> we mucked it up. Oh, it was so close, Silas. I could see it was very close. And then, if it's like that, yeah. you can get the orange and white one, which yep. is orange and yellow. It's yep. there. Turn it the opposite way. Yep. Do that again. Yep. So up to the last step now, yep. which is our favourite step, right down, right down. Right down, right down, right down, right down. What's happened? <gasps> You've done it! You did it! You solved the Rubik's Cube! You're getting good at that, aren't you? Yep. That's fantastic. You're a clever kid, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs>